I don't even know what to say. Just super competitive, competitive kids, you know. And ballpark's playing small today, and guys just kept battling. We were down nine nothing. Yeah. I was literally one out away from taking Clunch out of the game because I wanted to get him out to be able to play tomorrow. And I said, okay, if, if if we scratch for a run here, I'll you know I'll leave him in. And um, man, holy cow! What a, it's an awesome game. Awesome. Wyatt Tucker, uh, you know, his effort gets lost in a lot of things. He did a nice, really nice job, as did Cortez. Um, and Logan Britt went, went 0-2 to a walk, right? Mm -hmm. So um, just a lot of crazy things in that game, especially in this heat. Was it, was it Tucker you got the, uh, the lineup card? No, Minnick. Ben, okay. Yeah, yeah, Minnick. Yeah. But, you know, I, 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 I do want to say something, man, to parents out there. Like, you, you, we had three horrible PFPs today. And... All, you know, what that's a result of is young players being pitchers only and not playing other sports. And what, what happens is guys become pitch, you know, POs, they call them, I guess, these days, and they're not playing other sports or not playing other positions. And, and then when they're asked to do something athletic, you know, and when you're in the stands, you think it should be the most simple thing, and it is the most simple thing. But and it's, we practice PFPs at least twice a week. You can't do it a ton because guys can only throw so much. Um, but that's just what you see there, like Palish's play. I mean, uh, Micah Dallas's play. Those are experienced players. But if you're not, if, if you didn't grow up being an athlete and playing other sports, man, it catches up to you. And I hope, I hope people out there just. I'm not trying to get on a soapbox, man. But it's just, it's so disappointing because it affects my livelihood and we practice and practice and practice and practice but you can't you are what you repeatedly do and you can't overcome years and years and years of not being an athlete and just being a pitcher or just being a own one sport well, for us that are doesn't know a lot of the baseball terminology what's pfp pitchers fielding practice oh, okay. yeah pfp yeah yeah and obviously that cost us how many runs that cost us i mean micah what? dallas didn't have great stuff but if he fields two balls it's a completely different ball game you know and obviously palaces play so, but you know, and, and those stuff like Palisher's play, that's a little different because the ball's spinning. That's not that's not a play you practice. But if you're an athlete, if you play other sports, if you've played other positions, then you're going to be able to make those plays. But anyway, sorry. Back should, to the game. Should a game like this end with a home run from a yeah. guy that you put in as a defensive replacement? Well, he didn't hit the homer. He got on base. Oh, I thought it was yeah, Minnick, Minnick, Minnick hit the homer, but I mean Logan was down. Okay. Logan Britt was My down 0-2. He drew the walk. My bad. Yeah, can't. and uh, and right. and that's always the you know that's the that's the thing that's the hard thing decision to make there is you know do you take your best hitter out or one of your best hitters out in a one-run ball game? And I just took the shot that Palace, who's been pitching so well, was going to get him out. With um, uh, the. Um we're bringing in also a, a boast there in the, the inning before. Bro, Rody Barker? Barker, excuse me, Barker. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's, I mean, so so happy for Bar Rody, you know. Guy doesn't play very much. He's been nothing but a team guy. And uh, right-handed hitters, that's why I hit Werner leadoff. Right-handed hitter, you know, uh, the, the starting pitcher and the cl and Aust uh, Austin, the, the closer, not before the lefty. Mm -hmm. Both of they, those guys eat up left-handed hitters. And so, that, and right-handed Right-handed hitters against the starter actually hit really, really well. So that's why I wanted to get. That's why I hit um, Boast and and uh, and Rock back to back because it, you know three of the first four hitters of the of the lineup being right-handed against that starting pitcher, I thought would give us a better chance to score more runs. And, you know, I know in uh, minute comes up, I think three times with the bases loaded today, and he, he is able to get two runs in. But yeah. I mean that, that three runs point. in. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, yeah. Case in point of just that that next at bat can be something special. Well, I just told him, you know, when he when he came up with the bases loaded in the inning before, I said this guy's going to throw you first pitch. This guy's going to throw you big. It's big breaking balls. So you you got to make you got to make sure it starts at you, and that'll be the one to swing at. You know, and he he was all over the first one in the in his other at bat, but he just pulled off of it and got hit off the end of the bat and scored that run. And you'd have to ask him, but I'm assuming he was sitting on that same breaking ball there twice in a row at the end. Jim, uh, the way y'all have scored all, and played offense uh, or hit the ball so well, even when you're down 9-0, I mean, we kind of touched on it earlier, but how, how, even with that kind of offense, how can you be confident that you even have well, a I think when you're down 9-0? Dugout meetings are overrated, and I think, I think 
teams that meet in the dugout are representative of losing teams. So I never have dugout meetings, but I had one today. And when we were down nine nothing, I asked Dylan, Dylan Rock was hanging his head. And I said, how you doing? I said, what's wrong with you? He said, I'm just frustrated. And they're like, you can't be frustrated. Like, well, there's a lot of game left in this ball game. And so I got everybody, and one of the things we kind of pride ourselves in is you play to a standard, not a scoreboard. You just play. So don't, don't look at the scoreboard. Don't pay attention to what the runs are. Just play, and let's just see what happens. I said, all it's going to take is for somebody to, let's just get a couple guys on base and someone get up in the wind, we're right back in it, you know? And that's, that's really what happened. And so um, I, think, I think when you have a team that's committed to just playing pitch to pitch, not paying attention to the score, um, and that's, that includes when you're winning. You know, it'd have been nice for, for Werner to get one in the air in the, in the bottom of the eighth inning with the bases loaded in two outs, you know, to get more runs for Palace. But, but you got a team full of great character. They're not, uh, they're not characters. They're, they have character. I know you had to throw Mike Dallas a lot of innings early in the season. Do you feel like is it pitches catching up to his arm now or is it just something in his form? Or? No, I mean, I think he's his command. I actually thought he was a little bit better today. But, you know, he, he gave up uh, – you know, if he does the, if he feels his position, and then he gave up the three flares, mm-hmm. right, and a ground ball single through the, and so I actually thought, he, I thought he was down, um, but his break, his pitches, you know, he had some, he had some unlucky things, and he sandwiched it around two horrible, PFP, two two horrible position, you know, fielding things.